two-in-one devices have a number of unique considerations that influence how we create apps for them. Not the least of these considerations is the screen. A two-in-one device can be used in traditional laptop mode, or you can undock and pivot the device to use it in more of a tablet mode. When people use tablet devices, there's generally two orientations that matter. The traditional landscape or horizontal orientation and a vertical or portrait orientation. Most of the time when using a tablet, people are in horizontal mode. The impact that has on how we design is further influenced by the aspect ratios of these devices. That is, when we started doing design for computers, we were dealing with standard definition monitors. Today, we've got HD, Full HD, Ultra HD, and soon 4K. We started with a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, but we've been moving to more and more widescreen aspect ratios over the years. 16 by 9 and upcoming 19 by 10. So what impact does that actually have on our devices? Well, when you deal with a screen that's wide but short, that's a very different aspect ratio than a screen that's tall but narrow. And as you can see, we need to adjust our designs appropriately to fit. The difference between these two aspect ratios is really pronounced when you see them side by side. So what do we do with these wide screens, these long but short devices? Let's look at two simple examples that illustrate some concepts we can apply more broadly. The first is condensing information. You'll note as the screen gets shorter, we're actually removing some white space to help things fit. As we get more space, we expand. In this example, what we're going to do is actually take that call to action and pivot it up so it's visible when the screen is shorter. These techniques may seem simple, but they actually pay great dividends. So on a wide but short screen, one of the things we can do is tighten up. That is, remove some spacing so more things fit and the information is clear and more immediately visible. Another technique we can apply is moving things up especially important actions, things that really drive the purpose of a page and get people engaged. Tightening up and moving things up, you'll note, are almost the opposite of what we want to do with narrow but tall screens. Here, we may want to reposition things off the canvas or down towards the bottom of the screen, almost the opposite direction as we're moving things when the screen is short but wide. As our devices transition to widescreen aspect ratios, our designs need to account for this transition. That is, we need to make sure we tighten up to deal with less vertical space. We need to make sure primary calls to action are visible across the different orientations our devices can take. These techniques and more will help our software work well in a world of ever-changing screens.